second uh, match gave her any uh, flirt with the uh, fright at all. Nicole Arn from New Jersey in that third round. Steffi really cruised there. Martina Hingis, the young 15-year-old, gave her a little bit of a tough set in that second set. And Yana Novotna, Steffi really rolls over her three and two, expecting to have a tougher match there. Japan's number one, ranked 13th in the world. But interestingly, she's 13th, and Todd Martin is ranked 13th on the men's side. 5'4", the same height as you, Tracy Austin, now makes her home in Tokyo. And uh, unlike Groff, she has fought through every match and consistently, including Groff, has trouble winning the first set. You said a slow starter. She beat a fellow Japanese player in the first round, and this is when the trouble started to set in in those first sets. Can't seem to warm up quickly here. Conchita Martinez, the number three seed there in the round of 16, and Mary Pierce, the number 13 seed, in the quarterfinals. She considers that win over Conchita her second best in her career. Earlier this year, she beat Steffi Groff. She thinks that's her best win of her career. Well, they had a classic game, the fifth game of the second set that went uh, 14 minutes, 24 points before Date finally broke Groff to the lead 3-2 and then went on to take the set 6-2. Groff to open the final set. No tiebreaker in the decisive set. 15. Came out with an ace. Only her third. Graf's really going to have to serve a lot better today in this third set. She was only at 48% of her first serves in. That's a shot that she really relies on to get either a clean winner or set up the point for her. Not much of an audience thus far. Uh, with the early start, normally on Friday, the men's semifinals would begin at 1 o'clock. Dante had the opening. game for Steffi Groff. Our five hours from Wimbledon is underway. The new Ford Taurus has people talking. Car and driver noted it's wider, longer, and taller than before. Edward Armand says, I'm amazed at its size. It's actually bigger than it looks. Automobile Magazine calls it maybe the best family car ever made. And Maria Stylo adds, I love it. I've never gotten so many compliments. The new Ford Taurus. Now with $1,000 cash back, Taurus starts at just $17,545. Or get 2.9% APR financing. Hurry, offer ends soon. Time. It fools you. You think you have all the time in the world, and then one morning you wake up, and you're older, and getting closer to retirement. But many Americans haven't saved enough to enjoy it. And that's why there's Sun America. Ask your financial advisor about us today. Because it's not just your retirement, it's your future. Look to the sun, Sun America. There are two sides to a sprinter. The side that wants to crush his opponents and leave them blue and lifeless by the side of the track. And the other, darker side. How's your job? Great. There's still a lot of stress, though. You still getting those headaches? Yeah. Yeah, I actually went to the doctor. Mm -hmm. I thought they might be migraines. He said they weren't. He told me to take Tylenol, extra strength. Tylenol? Not some prescription. 
The Tylenol works great, Dad. More than aspirin, more than ibuprofen. For headaches, doctors recommend Tylenol the most. You should have come to work for me, Julie. Oh, sure. No stress there. Look Championships, Wimbledon. Brought to you by the all-new Ford Taurus. A look you've never seen from a name you know well. By Sun America, the retirement saving specialists. By Tylenol, the pain reliever hospitals use most. And by Nike. Steffi Graf holding easily to start this third set. She hopes that uh, today's third set won't offer any unexpected proposals. That was in the middle of her service game, the seventh game of the second set. A long shout, will you marry me? <laughs> as serious as she is, she <laughs> took time to enjoy it. <laughs> in your face, mister. 18 million in prize money and at least twice that much in exhibitions and endorsements. Wouldn't think she'd be concerned about that. Date to serve. Love one. Let's see if you're a nice guy. See what you look like. <laughs> Actually, while it was a, a nice moment to break a lot of tension, it really didn't help Groff at all. It was, she was 14, 40, 15 up on her serve and lost that serve. Six straight games lost to Date. There's that pinpoint accuracy of Date deep in the corner. And you're right, I think that actually really did hurt Steffi because she was so focused. Both players were so intensely into the match, and it was rare to see Steffi joke and smile at that point in the match. Oh. If Kamiko was smart today, she would have gone out and played a set or two on the practice court and come straight here because he already mentioned how all championships she's been starting very slow. Doesn't have that luxury today, especially against Steffi Groff, who is normally such a quick starter. That ball skidding low, and at love, Date, one all. You were... Less than 100 pounds, the same height, 5'4 as Date, and you generated a lot of power. And I think a lot of fans that are watching, hey, you understand from Groff the whipping forehands of hers, but where does Date get her power? It's a great question, Dick, because she's like 5'4 and about 115 pounds. Doesn't have a lot of racket head motion, very compact, simple strokes. So I think it's because she really steps into the ball when she strikes it has all that 115 pounds going forward, and she technically hits the ball so well. Out in front of her, he hits it on the rise so that everything's going forward. Good serve. And she really, uh, against a hard-hitting opponent like Groff, is able to take that power and, and use it to generate her own. Because she's so quick, she can get all the way to their powerful shots, get set up, get on balance, and still stay down with the ball and use that pace. Now the servers thus far having no difficulty. The returner is unable to offer any serious challenge early. Exactly what Kamiko Date did so well in the second set yesterday. Really scooted in a couple of feet inside the baseline on Steffi Groff's second serve. Hit it so on the rise that Steffi barely has time to get her racket head ready for the next shot. Comes back so quickly.
results. Brought to you by Mass Mutual, the blue chip company. The high hope of Britain, 21-year-old Tim Henman in the quarterfinals against Todd Martin. Henman double faults, giving up the first set. Then in the second set tie break, Martin with the ace. And the 13th seed goes up two sets to none. Now at match point, Martin to the net. And the net result, a trip to the semifinals for former Northwestern star Todd Martin. Promise we'll love you a little more because you're the son we chose. A promise to teach you that being different also makes you special. A promise you can count on your family no matter what. To help keep their promises, people across America rely on Mass Mutual for life insurance and financial security. Mass Mutual, we help you keep your promises. Welcome back. Kamiko Date serves 1-2, decisive third set. Already the best effort ever by a Japanese woman at Wimbledon or in a Grand Slam. And the one problem that has plagued her throughout, the double fault, she has by far more than any other woman, hits her again. That's her fourth in the match. Dick, what a different start to this third set than the end of the second set yesterday where both players were just hitting so hard, so deep, moving so well. So hard to pick up that momentum at the beginning of the third set. You know you only have one set to play. It usually takes you a while to get that rhythm, get, find the range on your strokes. Beautiful accuracy from Date. Steffi with the wide angle and Kamiko moves so well into the shot. Finds that down the line perfectly. Great depth. And I really think that that um, match being called because of darkness last night really helped Steffi Groff. She couldn't wait to get off the court as soon as she finished that second set because Kamiko had all the momentum. She was in such a groove. Another easy hold to all. And we'll have Todd Martin and Mal Washington in the next match on center court. And then the last on will be the semifinal match. Richard Krychek, who disposed of the champion Pete Sampras very impressively, makes his appearance. He'll go out and hit for a half hour or more. He now would have to be considered the favorite of the four that remain, 13th ranked in the world, although not seated here, surprisingly. <laughs> Meanwhile, Steffi Groff, quick points, on serve, 30 love. That last backhand slice was absolutely lethal. Stayed down so low to the grass. And even Kamiko Date, who's only 5'4", Low center of gravity and bends down so low. Couldn't scoop that one up. Forty love. These two women had uh, barely 14 hours from the time they left court after one all late last evening to walking on court today. And then the winner will have to play tomorrow. Breakfast at Wimbledon for the Ladies' Championship. Arancha Sanchez Vicario with the luxury of an easy win against Meredith McGrath in her semi, and then all day today to relax and practice before tomorrow. Game Another love service game. 3 2 on serve. Final set. The day before our victory. What a shame, Dick. Still three months left on this guarantee. The Wilson Pro Staff Extreme. Guaranteed durability for 10 months. 
what? Welcome back to center court. More than 13,000 capacity uh, gradually filling as a busy day of tennis at the All England Club. 2-3. Again, Date, such length on her shots. We lost one point on her serve this set. It's increased her first service percentage to 67. Ended oh. the day yesterday at 59%. That one point was the double fault. Japanese woman to advance in a Grand Slam championship to a semifinal. There's her record at Wimbledon. Good singles record this year. Two to one. And she's been a semifinalist before 15, at the French. Kamiko not moving up to this short ball quick enough. A lot of baseliners like to move laterally. They don't like to move up and back to the net. They're not as comfortable. Don't get that first quick step moving forward. And Date wins again. That was the trademark of their second set yesterday. Good stuff. It was great tennis at the second set yesterday. Fun to watch. Whoa! <laughs> I'm not sure if Steffi meant to cut it quite that close. She got jammed. She did well to hit this ball out in front of her because it was right at her body. Here's the first break point of the final set. A big break there when you're playing against someone like Steffi Groff, who has such a huge serve, and you know that it's going to be so tough to break. You know, she's not a serve and volley. I remember playing Martina Navratilova. You always felt a lot of pressure to hold your own serve because you knew it was going to be tough to, to break her serve. It's the same with Steffi. Huge serve. She did that well in the second set yesterday as Steffi's mom looks on, Heidi. Kamiko's sister was here earlier in the week but had to go back to Japan, go back to work. with that unusual stance and preparing for serve. It's almost as if she's looking around the corner to see what <laughs> might be there. So far, she's seen some pretty good things in the entire country, Japan, excited by this terrific performance at Wimbledon. It's unusual in the beginning, but when the toss goes up on her opponent's serve, she stands directly straight. Yeah. Number four for Graf. You see the Kamiko Date's bandage, her knee. She's had a nagging injury on that left knee, behind her left knee since end of April. Did that in Fed Cup playing against Germany, against Anke Hoover. It was the next day that she was able to beat Steffi Groff. 
12-10 in the third after being down a match point in that third set. One of only two losses suffered by Graf all year, the other to Martina Hingis. Head to head, uh, Graf had won the first six meetings and last in the Grand Slam at the Australian, three and three, and there you see the score of that Fed Cup, 12-10 in the third set. And another ace for Graf. She's just one game away from a final date with Arancha Sanchez Vicario. In Graf, five of the last seven years she's won it. Lost in 90, Martina Navratilova capturing that, and then Conchita Martinez two years ago. Date with work to be done. Can she pull out 2-5 in the third? Not the way to start. Another double fault, just not enough spin on that serve to bring it back down. Dick, I wonder if it would be a different result if the two had been able to continue last night. Dante was certainly on a roll, controlling all the points, making too many errors today. And Graf has been suffering from a cold. She, she just coughed in. She's been uh, blowing her nose constantly in the brakes, was breathing very heavily. Oh, again, deep in the corner. It's just so tough to play that type of tennis so close to the lines, terrific angles consistently. She did it in the second set yesterday. Hasn't done it yet today enough. Graf, two points from victory, 15-30. Today. Two match points. Chance to meet Arancha Sanchez Vicario, a rematch of the Wimbledon final last year. What a great match that was. Second match point for Graf, who is also taken to three sets in a remarkable French Open final last month. The net was a little loose here at Wimbledon. Ball tended to roll over a lot more often than not. Oh, there's that terrific quickness. And she executes another winner. Again, if Steffi doesn't hit this angle perfectly, Kamiko's going to be there and have that whole open court down the line. continues the drama denying two match points and Steffi Graf the 27 year old defending champion now serves for a chance to defend in the finals Slice backhand and Date doing a great job on getting down low for those shots. Those aren't easy, about six inches a foot off the ground. Oh. Wow, 
watch her catch this second serve on the rise. bit late on that forehand. Steffi did well to adjust to that net cord. Just caught a little bit behind her. Saw the opening down the line. Talk so much about her forehand being such a short swing. Both of her strokes are very compact, but that forehand just doesn't look like it gets up a lot of momentum, a lot of racket head speed. That is, as we've mentioned, her off wing. She's a natural left-hander. Forced to play right-handed, Japanese custom growing up. Our two net cords fall back on Graf's side, 15-30. Kamiko at this point has to hope that if she keeps being consistent, keep hit, hitting with a lot of depth, that Steffi will start to make a few unforced airs, tape a few shots like that one. Bad bounce. That ball really popped up on her. Couldn't adjust. One foot was up in the air, so really couldn't move her feet well. Rob continues to cough. She uh, ran over to the chair to again blow her nose uh, two points ago. And the third match point for Groff. Championship tomorrow. Six two, two six, six three. Against the 27 year old or check 25 year old Kamiko Date, how well she competed, made a whole new legion of fans here at Wimbledon and around the world and certainly back home in Japan. So, Steffi Graf, Arancha Sanchez Vicario, does that sound familiar? A Grand Slam final. They'll meet for the 35th time. Graf has won 26 of the first 34, but Arancha's never played better. Breakfast at Wimbledon. The menu is set for tomorrow. Coming up, the American that will advance to the finals on the men's side. Will it be the 13th seed, Todd Martin or Malavia?